Hello everyone, I hope you have seen my Cinema 4D clove test. Um, I just wanted to show you how to make it. So if you want to watch the video and see what you will learn, just click the screen. Now, let's get on with the tutorial. Because I don't want to waste your time. Alright, let's make, just go to file, new. Now let's make a spear. So make it like this. Make it a little smaller. And now we're gonna take a plane. Gonna make it f smaller too. 300, 300, yeah, that looks nice. And now go to width segments, 50, 50. Now we will rename this to Clove, the plane, and spear to collider. Now we're gonna make these uh, uneditable. So make sure you edit everything. So you click clove, click this, click collider, click this. It will now make it uneditable, uneditable, but we will add text to it. So go to right click, clove text, clove, collider, right click, clove text, collider. So it should look like this. But it looks very nice, but it looks ugly right there. It's kind of bugged. So that's what we're going to fix. Let's just return this. Go into Clove. Uh, go to Fong. Oops. Um, up into Objects. Click this man with the Clove on. Go to Expert. 8. Self Collision. Take that. Go to cache, and now we're gonna add 220, and now we're gonna click calculate cache. And I'm just gonna pause the video now. Right after it has cached, it will look like this. It will not be laggy. And now, just to uh, fix the errors we made and all that stuff, if there was any, if there's any box, I'm not sure, but just for the safe part, we'll add hibernerbs. Now it looks looks more cool. So now, as you can see, when it hits each other, the other side. It will push back, as you can see. So it pushes back because it hits the other side. So that's really nice. Now let's add some color to it. Go to File, Shader, New Key, Fuse A. Gonna take a light blue for the clove. And for a collider, we're gonna take red. I don't know about you, but I got this weird, weird texture arrow. But when I render it, it looks pretty thick. Like this. But it lo doesn't look like good now, but when we do this. So now it looks very awesome. So now we will go up to render signings, go to general, full render, output, uh, click this um, button here, screen, take a um, Windows resolution screen. I got 1920 uh, x 20, no, 1200, like this. Um, so you will take. Um, from 0 to 200 it will render from 0 to 200 frames now we go to save and we're gonna save it as glow test now we go into the format and take quicktime movie go into options take animation take this 30 uh, frames per second or pictures per second I don't know 
uh, 30 down here and then we take many millions of colors uh, optimal okay it does include sound, sound options but it doesn't help it's just for animation sounds not for music you gotta edit that in a video editor program so now we go to any analyzing best options nothing render settings say preset okay and now you just click this one and now you're done this was just a test before earlier with the settings so thanks for watching I hope this helped you and enjoy using cinema 40 because I know I do thanks for watching bye